joined by Martinsville Speedway President Clay Campbell. Gentlemen, I know today is a very special race day as we honor Hendrick Motorsports' 40th anniversary. How does it feel to be here today, um, back where that historic win first started? But, uh, first, let me just say, we would not be here today celebrating 40 years if it wasn't for this guy winning this race in April 1984. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jeff. I, I can't thank you enough. It's just... Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. You know, uh, Rick told that to uh, his drivers. Jeff was there. Uh, Dale Jr. was there. Uh, Jimmy was there. This was several years ago in the museum at uh, Henrik Motorsports. And I looked at these guys, and I said, well, you believe that, right? I said, well, they said, yeah, well, Rick just told us. I said, well, don't you guys think you owe me something? Now, who in here thinks they owe me something? <laughs> well, my wife Too raised cool. her hand. <laughs> that was thank, babe. <laughs> but, no, what a special day. And it's so important in life what you say and what you do. And if Rick Henrik hadn't let us he, – he told us – that week before, we weren't coming here. He said, I was out of money. He spent a lot more money than he expected to have to spend. Of course, Harry Hyde spent it all. Who knew Harry Hyde back in the day? You're all too young. Yeah, a couple of you. He was a great guy, great crew chief, and that's why I signed up with Rick Hendrick to work with Harry Hyde. I figured he'd teach me how to win. But uh, Harry convinced Rick the car was ready. Randy Dorton, the engine was in it. And uh, he said, you might have to buy a few tires. And, of course, uh, who was here back in the day when I ran modifieds here in late models? <laughs> a couple people, yeah. <laughs> that means we're old guys and girls. Uh, but uh, Harry said, you know, Bodine won some races up there, and we might have a chance. And so, obviously, Rick let us come. He and his wife, Linda, were in Greensboro at a church conference of some type. Of course, we didn't have cell phones back then. And uh, it, this time of the year is my birthday month, April 18th. I accept presents. No la That's supposed no, to be no, buy, funny. Buy some books. Buy yeah, some books buy for some your birthday. Yeah, I'm, I'm selling books. That's how poor I am today. i got to sell books. All of it. Even has Jeff Gordon when he spun me out a few times in there. Thank you, Joe. Oh, man, I didn't know. We're going to get all the way into it. Yeah. Let's oh, yeah. go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's so important what you do and what you say in life. And if if Rick hadn't let Harry and I come here to Martinsville and we hadn't won this race, uh, just think about how many people that might have affected through the years. And it compounds as it goes on because they have kids, they have kids, they have kids, grandkids, and you know how that works. So... It's important what you do and say. And we all mess up. We're all sinners. But the Lord's been good to me. He saved me 2,000 in a little crash at Daytona. But he saved me several other times. I thought about three times in my life I was going to die. How about you, Jeff? I, I saw my life flash before my eyes a few times as yeah. I was heading towards that wall, definitely. So we're, we're blessed to be here, and this is a, such a special day. But then, okay... This race, this track means a lot to Hendrick Motorsports, right? In a good way, but not in, there's, a, there's another bad side of that story. We all know that. So if we hadn't come in race, might not be a Hendrick Motorsports, that plane crash might not have happened. One day we're, we're gonna learn why all this happens, why things happen to us in life. And right now it's a question, but we can't change what's happened, but it's still important what we do. So when you guys and ladies put your pen or typewriters or computers to work, make sure you say good things about me. Gordon, you say what you want. <laughs> you know, it's, it's neat. We're not racing now, and we had the 75th uh, uh, drivers at Talladega. It was so nice to talk to Jeff, to talk to uh, uh, Rusty, you know, Rush and I didn't get along, and but back then when we were racing. But now we're talking about families. What are you doing? How's your kids? How's your grandkids? It's so much nicer to be nice to people than I didn't like any of them before. I didn't even like my brothers. <laughs> I love them now. <laughs>
Go ahead, Jeff. Or well, Clay. I, I just wanted to say one thing before Clay says anything. It's just the other person and, and group I want to really thank is Clay and, and his team here at Martinsville. We started planning this, you know, several months ago, maybe a year ago within Hendrick talking about 40th anniversary and how we're going to celebrate it and we made this decision because of of you know the discussions that we had with Clay and his team of we're going to bring our employees up here and family and friends and they all just showed up on several buses and and are up there off a of turn two having the time of their life and we've never done this before obviously this is this is the perfect timing you know to do this uh because of of the history here with with jeff's win and and martinsville in general for hendrick but um but clay you and your staff i mean just gone over the top and above and and i've never seen our folks you know enjoying themselves more with their families than when I just left up there uh, in, in turn two. So no matter what happens on the track today, of course, yesterday was a pretty good start. Uh, cars look amazing. Drivers, you know, just looking sharp and, and seeing all those cars and, and the uniforms and, and ruby red and the, the hats. Uh, in, in my opinion, I think Rick would say the same thing as, you know, I've been talking to him getting in, uh, coming into this weekend. It's been a win for us no matter what, just because we get to celebrate all the accomplishments. So thank you. Uh, thank you jeff it's it's been a you know as you said we started planning this end of last year and it, it just it just grew and I, I think what you're saying about the 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 inner workings of putting this together that starts at the top with mr h and yourself it's it's been a it's been a really good ride for all of us to to honor and and celebrate Hendrick Motorsports 40th anniversary. Uh, Jeff and I go way back. I'm one that remembers you in the Modifieds. Uh, but you know, celebrating that 1984 win that you had here and and the the significance of that to Hendrick Motorsports is pretty special. But if you look at that organization, how it's grown over the years, what 28 wins from the very beginning to to now, phenomenal. And again, I say that starts at the top with Mr. Hendrick, such a first class individual. The, everything about Hendrick Motorsports is first class. Uh, it's it's you know that you raise the bar pretty high. And you and I go way back when you were in Grand Nationals. We'll keep a th few of those stories. Uh, <laughs> out of the press but it was it was fun i remember one uh well we went forget about that <laughs> but anyway it, it's it's been it's been great and it's to see all the people here like jeff said the family and friends of of hendrick motorsports not only the motorsports part but the the dealerships and uh everybody out here having a great time what a beautiful day to do this uh beautiful weather we've been blessed with a nice nice day for a race but we're excited about it uh and rick did say he's going to call me in victory lane if one of your cars winds up there so that'll be cool and he will <laughs> Well, after I won that first race, uh, of course, that's a long time ago. No computers, no cell phones. Uh, and like I said, Rick and Linda were in Greensboro. Uh, they looked at the watch, figured about time to race. So they called, Rick called his mother in Charlotte. And the way Rick says it, his mom said, Ricky, Ricky, they won the race. They won the race. So Rick and Linda decided that they wanted to celebrate but they weren't here i took my team and my well my parents and some of the team guys up to clarence's steakhouse who's been there oh yeah still there it's amazing delicious had a steak dinner in the back room but rick and linda uh i used to live just a little south of greensboro little town of julian and they went to a convenience store and bought a couple boxes of toilet paper and they toilet papered my house i came home that night it looked like i was living up north again it looked like snow was in my trees and on my roof and everywhere but that's how they celebrated i celebrated at clarence's and uh today it's a little different than that jeff isn't it no but it shows the you know a lot of people see the the Rick Hendrick you see at the racetrack, but he's got quite a, a sense of humor and, oh, yeah. and can, oh, yeah. can lo loves to, to pull some pranks from time to time. So that's great. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and open it up into questions. Um, we'll go ahead and start right here in the back with Jacob. Jacob Seelman, Race Face Digital. I've actually got one for Clay. Um, 
60th anniversary of the grandfather clock, obviously 40th anniversary of Hendrick Motorsports this weekend. What has it meant to you, to the family, to the track, to have so many moments like this um, in NASCAR history be a part of this place? It's pretty special, and, and you mentioned the clock. I think when my grandfather started that in 1964, obviously didn't intend on it being such an iconic trophy as it is today. And and people like Jeff Gordon having so many. Jeff Bodine and on 15. and on and on. 15. How many do you have, Jeff? I have nine. I have 15. So it, it's pretty special to <laughs> Got be, me beat again. Yeah, it's pretty special <laughs> to have that. And, and as you said, the, the significant moments in time that this place has produced over the years, uh, it, it, it means a lot. And this is going to be one of those moments in time. We'll come over here, then go back to Mark. Zach, the ready, kicking the tires down that. <clears throat> Gordon, I'm, I'm sure you've seen the pedestrian tunnel. Walking in here, about half of it is you. Uh, when did you find out that Martinsville was honoring not only you, but Hendrick in that way? Well, you know, we had some meetings with, with Clay and his team and our team over at Hendrick, and, and we, you know, just talked about first bringing folks here and, and you know, what, what this is going to mean to us, the, the 40th anniversary Camaros and what our paint schemes were going to be. But then Clay and his team, they just they ran with it and, and started coming up with, with ideas. And, and every time that I would hear a little bit about them, I was, I was like, oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. But um, uh, some of our folks came and did a site visit and, and shot a video of that tunnel and sent it to me. And... I, I was just blown away. Of course, I was also thinking, what are the competitors going to think when they walk in there? <laughs> uh, but uh, no, it just is a great reminder of how special, you know, uh, the wins have been, the grandfather clocks, and, and what Hendrick Motorsports has accomplished because, you know, Jimmy's nine of those, and you know, you've got Jeff and, and even our current drivers, you know, winning here. So um, it, it's, yeah, th this is a place where if you drive for Hendrick Motorsports and you come to Martinsville, you're expected to win and um, for for them to honor all those wins for for this you know weekend uh it, it's just another layer of how how excited i am and how special our whole group is to to be here today go ahead mark mark garrow prn way way out in the back jeff did you go into the race back then thinking okay if i don't win it the doors are going to close on these guys. Did you go in with that kind of pressure? And did you ever contemplate, we've talked about what this meant to Hendrick Motorsports in years beyond. What did it mean to you years beyond as far as your career was concerned? Yeah, Mark, you were here. Uh, you know, it, it's quite, quite strange maybe to hear, but I did not think about what if we don't win, what would happen? Uh, and, and, and anything you do, you never put a negative thought in your head because a lot of times that's where you end up. So, no, I, I got in that car thinking I could win, and I was going to win. Uh, you never know, but we practiced good. And like I said, it was around my birthday. It might have been on the 18th, and I don't know. I can't remember the date. But we had a fan club meeting, and Harry grabbed the mic, and Harry Hyde, and said, well, Bodine's running pretty good, and I don't think we have a chance of winning. I grabbed the mic from him and looked at him and said, Harry, I don't know what you're talking about. We're running good, and we were in practice. But I don't know why he said that. I don't know, maybe just to cover his butt in case we didn't. But he picked the first pit coming in the front stretch pit row, the first one, not in turn one, in turn coming Where, in. Where'd you qualify, Jeff, that day? Do you remember where you qualified? Uh, what was it? Maybe fourth or sixth yeah. something like that but Harry picked this first pit I said Harry why'd you pick that well because if you pick anywhere but the first one in turn one you get in that traffic jam and it slows you down so he picked the first one we didn't have any traffic coming into pits and we got our pit stops done quick we got out and gained spots uh, on the track so he was very smart but no I didn't think about anything but gonna win that race Thank God it worked out that way and, uh, you know, affected my career. Of course it did. I mean, whenever you win, uh, and I'm going to say this in a good way. Up until I won that race, Dale Earnhardt Sr. and I were buddies. We are friends. It's in my book. I say a lot of great things about him because he was, we were friends. My kid used to go to 
the lake house and ride go-karts with him. And uh, But as soon as you win, <laughs> you know, then they want to beat you. So things change after that first win in that respect. Of course, then you get respect by race fans, crew chiefs, and drivers. And But they all... They all like you to see a guy win his first race, but they don't like him to see his, win his second race. So it all went downhill from there. We'll go to Heather and then up to Dustin. Yeah, this is for uh, Jeff Gordon. Uh, Hendrick Motorsports has such a kind of complicated relationship with this track. A lot of good, but obviously the tragedy as well. You could have done this anywhere. Why did you choose Martinsville specifically to, to celebrate Hendrick Motorsports? I mean, right here, you know, because the first win and how significant that win was. And, and Rick and Linda have told, you know, the story many times about, you know, whether or not Hendrick Motorsports was going to continue on if they didn't get either sponsorship or, or, or some some kind of sign. And, and that day was was the sign by getting that, that win that they needed to keep it going. Um, so this track just has, you know, a, a huge amount of significance on on primarily positive ways and and you know we chose to do this in in april that that is closer to the day to when that first win came and and just all the wins right the 28 wins at this track is is incredible so this rick's from virginia and and you know rick and linda so um yes there's been tragedy here as well um and i think this is a way not only for us to celebrate all the good things but to honor uh what was lost we'll go ahead and wrap with dustin Dustin Long, NBC Sports, for Jeff Gordon. Um, in your career, you never had a situation where you had to win or the doors might close. Like The heck I didn't. Maybe not in Cup. Well, in Cup. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm curious with you know all the hoopla and celebration here for this event, and um, obviously drivers have their own focus, but they're aware of certain things. I don't want to compare. Uh, I want to be careful about not comparing 2004, but you – did win with the first race Martinsville after that, the spring race in 05. And I'm curious, you know, you guys understood even more so the importance of this race and this track at that point and, and what it meant beyond the personal satisfaction of winning a race because of everything. And, and if there was a, I don't want to say pressure to perform even more so because of what the what that track now had meant in a historical sense for you, for you and your generation. Yeah, I, I mean, first of all, I, I can go back to the week after that uh, that that tragic day because um, seeing Rick strength through that, um, you know, I, I it was one of the toughest times I've ever been through in my life watching, you know, parents deal with with that kind of a loss and and other family members too, and so while you know it was devastating to to all of us seeing them go through that pain was just unfathomable but also rick was at hendrick motorsports two days later speaking to our entire group and and the way that everybody rallied around that and and said hey you know there's there's not much that you can give rick hendrick but right now he he came to us and now it's time for us to step up and we went to the next race and won and so so to me like ever that that whole week if you take those you know those seven days and what was the ups and the downs i think that that win at atlanta um maybe you know set the tone for the motivation and paying tribute to the folks that that were lost in that tragic accident and i think it's carried on um to this track every time we come here and in every victory lane as you know when we turn the hats backwards yep all right thank you gentlemen for joining us today our pleasure thanks guys and ladies all of it tells a story in here be a great christmas present <laughs> i'm bad aren't i i'm terrible trying to sell a book sitting up here great seeing everybody I haven't seen you in a long time thanks I'm just acting like Joe Biden. <laughs> I had to get a laugh somehow. You guys weren't laughing at anything.
All right, there's the checkered flag. Great job, driver. 